Hello and welcome to the Chart of the Week video with me, David Madden. Today's date is Thursday the 11th of April 2019 and the time has just gone 11.15 British Summer Time. This week's Chart of the Week is Brent Crude Oil and as we can see here, uh, Brent Crude Oil has been in a nice upward trend uh, since late December. A nice series of higher highs and higher lows, uh, so a classic definition of an upward trend and only yesterday, uh, Brent crude oil managed to eke out yet another yet another five month high. So we've recently hit levels not seen uh, since November 2018. And a part of this uh, bullish move in Brent crude oil uh, is for is because of several issues, uh, largely because of the um, in intentional uh, production declines uh, in terms of output from Saudi from, uh, well from, from OPEC, but you know Saudi Arabia, one of the major uh, in major um, influence, influencers of, of, of OPEC. Um, OPEC, uh, I've, been, I've been trimming out, output. Uh, also in 2019, we've seen a reasonable turnaround in Chinese economic indicators. The manufacturing figures out of China and the service figures out of China have been improving ever so slightly. Uh, speaking of China, the trade relationship between the US and China Hasn't gotten back to uh, its 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 its, uh, its, its former its former all time highs, but the trade relationship is certainly getting better. Uh, on top of that, there are there are sanctions imposed on Venezuela. There are sanctions imposed on Iran. All of these issues, and more recently, there has actually been some conflict in Libya. So all of these issues piling together have helped oil push higher for the last number of months and actually reach um, uh, only yesterday hit a five month high. So if the oil market does manage to push on higher from here, we could be looking heading up towards this level here. Um, the early November highs, which come into play at 73 spot 53. And if you go beyond that, we could be looking heading towards this area here, levels not seen since late October uh, 2018, which up around the 77 spot 95 mark. Um, if, if, the, if the Brent crude oil market does manage to drift lower, uh, we might see some fresh buyers enter the fold because buying on the dip has been a fairly popular strategy with traders for the last number of months. So if we do manage to drift lower from these current levels in around kind of 71 spot 65, support might be found from this red line here, uh, which is the 30 moving average, and that comes into play at 69 spot 35. And if you zoom in here, we can see that in the last few, uh, in, basically in in the month of April, we can see that the 30 moving average was a fairly important metric. Uh, it acted as both resistance and, and on the 1st of April, and on a few occasions in early April, it managed to act as support. And if a metric has acted as support or resistance recently, it makes it more likely that it will do so again in the future. Obviously, there are no guarantees. It just makes it more likely. If you do manage to drift below that, um, support might be found from this area here, the $68 uh, a barrel mark. Um, it's a big psychological number, um, $68. On top of that, 60, in around the kind of 68 dollars mark we did see a bit of resistance in the past and even if you drop below that this region might act as support uh, we can see a, a few um a, a few times the oil market managed to find support from this area here which comes into play at 66 dollars per barrel and it's only really if you have a seismic break below that because then we actually begin to be concerned that well maybe the upper trend that we've been in since December actually is actually coming to a bit of an end now, if you are trading Brent crude oil, it's worth keeping an eye on what, what's going on in West Texas Intermediate, WTI. Uh, Dow theory tells us that the averages must confirm each other. And we're now looking at the uh, WTI chart. As you can see here, it's almost almost identical uh, in terms of actually the pattern move, whereby a nice series of higher highs and higher lows from December. Uh, once again, this week, WTI printed a fresh five-month high also. So while both markets are moving uh, moving largely, broadly speaking, in tandem together, and are both are, are, are ratcheting up fresh five-month highs, we can be more confident that Brent crude oil is going to continue on its positive run. Conversely, if both markets manage to drift lower and both start to hit you know, multi-week lows or multi-month lows or take out recent support levels on both markets, we can then become more confident that the bullish run in oil is over. It's worth keeping an eye uh, on, on, kind of any, any, on any updates from the oil market. More recently, we've heard that, oh, that Russia, who are not in OPEC, but recently are working alongside OPEC, uh, we've heard recently from Russia that they're considering raising their output at the June meeting uh, of the major oil producers. So please keep an eye out for any updates in relation to the oil market. 
And finally, if you have any comments to make on this video or any of the other videos we've made here at CMC Markets, please feel free to leave a review on Google Reviews. And that's all for me this week. Thank you very much.